Not again. More like. OT Reese was cracking like in my dude. Now you're being delusional if you didn't see this one coming. I see you with those videos that you put up there. I see how you squeeze those videos as quickly as possible because you know you got some videos coming your way, son. We heard your story. This is mine. So I see you was laughing when I said you want to fight. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter if I'm asking you for a fight. I'll tell you that right now. And you said you didn't want karate. But I tell you what, you didn't get karate, you got kung fu, mother It's a damn shame because you were the person who did beat me in 2016. That's the only reason why I somewhat take you a little bit more seriously than other people. But it doesn't change the fact that you said you was going to whoop me and now it's three times that I put you in your place. And I was going to give you a rematch straight away, which don't worry, you'll get your rematch. That's a promise. All right, Even if you don't give me an old rematch straight away. I've given you more matches than you deserve and there's probably going to be more coming that way because me and you, we have the best fights, let's be honest, it's really good fights. But there's loads of people on the list of beatdown. I mean, I've got a beatdown Darkish Mocha who I'm still waiting for him to send the message that he sent me on YouTube on Xbox Live. As soon as I get that message, it's on. That way I can keep tabs on him, see whether he's online or not. So Darkish Mocha, wait your turn. Send me a message on Xbox, hurry the f*** up. I ain't even playing. You saw what I did to OT Reese. You're gonna be next, son. Best believe that. So let me mumble jumble about this little situation, seeing as I'm in the winning chair and you're not. Now, obviously, you've now decided to get a voice now that you got a mic and you got a YouTube, so now you're talking the big game. But there's too many gaming wrestlers that talk a big game. And you know what happens to them when they put a big game against Big Taurus Main? <laughs> they get put in the dirt where they unfortunately belong. And that is the cruel awakening of this, this vortex we call reality. I'm better than you. And you don't like it. So everything that you've said about me for the past couple of months past month ever since i've beaten you which that should have been an oil and voider after i beat you you should be irrelevant but somehow you managed to jump out of the box of irrelevancy and piss me off to the point of i challenge you to a 1v1 to put you back where you belong so you did talk a big game but where's your actions your actions say you got your ass uppercutted and the words i quit came out your breath i literally whooped that trick because you ain't no magician and when people talk of big game and don't back it up That was for you Big Johnny Anyway, let's continue with this segment that we got here You can't say nothing You can't say how stupid I am How pathetic How blah 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 Now nah, your opinions are out the window because you lost that match right there That's all it took That's all it took Alright, you might have not retired But I put you in your place three times in a row And if I'm as bad as you say I am You shouldn't have lost to me so it's alright, you look in yourself in the mirror and look at what, how much of a failure you are. It happens, you know, cheer yourself up. There'll be more matches where that came from. You're pretty good, so you might catch up at one point. But until then, you got a whole bunch of words inside of a bread, inside of two pieces of bread. Squash it together, make a sandwich and eat it. Eat your words. Because you was talking such a big game. I actually questioned my ability to actually beat you because I thought you would have got so used to the game you probably would have got that 2K16 uh, victories like you did last time. But oh yeah, that's because I left 2K16 to play 2K17 and now I'm used to that game and on top of it. So now that you lost that match, just leads me to ask you that. Y'all know me like that. What a damn shame, man. I actually thought you was going to be the one to put me in my place. I was wait I was laughing about it. 
you know, you saw, you saw, you know, taking your licks and all that stuff, shouting off like you do, trash talking, like it's a Def Jam fight for New York match. <laughs> I was like, whoa, this guy might actually put me in my place for once. <laughs> let me down, man, let me down. And the worst thing is that song was in 2004. That's like 13 years ago, man. And it's still relevant today, you know? So I'm just going to end this video with... I hit him right dead in the jaw. Feel like feel like Luda right now, you know? Luda. Feel like Luda Chris, cause I damn sure disturbed your peace. Winner, boy.